That's the only way. Man, you crazy. Oh, you look like you like you could be my older brother. Absolutely not. Older, like uglier your, brother. No, I'm your younger, what? better looking brother. What you you eleven years older than me? But that age ain't got nothing to do with it. It's the jeans. <laughs> <laughs> He got, a, he got a nice smile. He got a nice smile. Yeah, and nice. it's real. No, nah, I don't Some of yours are... Um, no, nah, mine's all real. Look at that. All real. No, I see gold, you think, I see gold you, in your mouth. Oh, uh, yeah, one over him. Well, well, who you robbed to get that gold? You I robbed like, nobody. You knocked somebody out and took his tweet. Absolutely <laughs> not. See, you forget. I'm a more top millionaire. That's right. I don't have to knock nobody out. I, I like knocking people out. Yeah, me too. That, that's my profession. <laughs> one of the best to ever do it. Yeah, 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 that's right. One yeah. of the best to ever do it. The best to ever do it. Are we going to mm. do an intro? We're just going to go. I think we're rolling already. All right. Yeah, let them know. We're yeah. already here. Uh, hey, hey, we already here. We ain't going to do no intro, so I ain't finna intro, but we got Riddick Bo in here and his and his best friend, his pastor, H.H. H. Howard Harris. Harris. That's Harrison. it. Harrison. 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 Oh, sorry. Harrison. Howard Harrison. What a day. What a blessing. It's yeah. an honor to have you here, champ. I can bless you with something else, too. What you got? An ass whooping. Oh, damn. Whoa. <laughs> damn, right off the off rip. The right off. Hey, hey, whoa. Bro, bro. You, you, know, you, you know I'm from Brooklyn, man. Brownsville. Hey, hello. Come on, somebody. Come on, Brownsville. Hey, you I know who else from Brownsville? Brownsville. Yeah, uh, your, your best friend. Um, what's his name? Mike uh, Tyson. Shannon, Shannon Briggs. Briggs. Mike Tyson Briggs. and Shannon Briggs. Yeah, I like Mike Tyson. I talked to him uh, like... Last week, I like Mike Tyson and Shannon Briggs. I don't like Shannon Briggs. I like Mike Tyson. They grew, they grew, grew up in the same neighborhood. But why all three? Why don't you like uh, Shannon? He talked too much, man. I, you too you much. must not be on social media. Like we supposed to fight each other, and he keeps putting my face on women's bodies. Now that's 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 that's, oh, that's crossing the line right there. And he's, that sounds a little sus to me too. Like, why are you putting my face on women's body? I'm talking about not good looking women's bodies, fat women's bodies with big breasts. Because he think you like the fat backs, the fat girls. Yeah, he wrong about that. I don't yeah, like that. Well, Rampage, he he don't he don't discriminate. How he you? Got all types. You know, I seen him when he go out. He like all types. Why, why you why you why you lying about that? I don't like, like nothing fat but the bank roll. No, no, no I, I seen you. I seen you like all types. I, you I a got good person. I got I got love for I got love for the big women. I got I ain't mad at them. Mm -hmm. Have you ever dated a big girl? Let's be honest. This Absolutely. Hour. I feel, what's the biggest woman you ever dated? I don't want to talk. <laughs> Come on. This is honestly hour. When you put uh, the headphones on and the microphone, we got to be honest with everything. I'm mm -hmm. thinking they, they were heavyweights. I was guess about <laughs> two, 225, something like that. You know? Damn. Because they, they were tall, you know. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well proportioned, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Everything went together. Everything went together? Yeah, absolutely. Now, look, you are one of the best heavyweight boxers of all time. So you saying I'm a, one of the best heavyweight boxers. Why don't you say I'm one of the prettiest heavyweight boxers? Because you ain't pretty. To you, I ain't. You ain't pretty, it's though. Probably, no, no, you don't understand. I looked at myself five minutes ago in the mirror. Mm -hmm. I was pretty. Five minutes ago. You don't, you don't get it. No, I don't get it. So, but you think you pretty? No, I think I'm handsome. You look like a monkey. You don't, Damn. you're not pretty. Damn. I'm looking at you. What, what kind of monkey I look like? A chimpanzee. Damn. A chimp. <laughs> a chimp. That's your new name. When I say chimp, you know I'm talking about you. Oh, <laughs> oh my. That's your well, new chimp nickname. And chimp. That's a good hey, podcast. Hey. No, not Chimp and Chimp. Chimp and Champ. Oh, oh chimp man. Chimp. man. Hey, hey, I might have to scratch this fight with Shannon Briggs <laughs> and put you in his place. That's a bad move. You don't want to do that? No, no, no. You calling me. You see my work. I know. I you see want it. the same thing? Yeah. Cause Teeth I'm, everywhere. Teeth yeah. Everywhere. I ain't scared. But you ain't got to be scared to get your ass whooped. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so you got to, hey. Let me see uh, those hands. Yeah. Look at that. That's a big fist. God damn. Oh, hey, you got some little, paws. You see that? You see that right there? That's, I see. You know what? Your hand's so ashy, it look like an elephant's ass. <laughs> That's okay, but you, you need to put some lotion see, on that you shit. See, but you see my knuckles, though. Yeah, I see, see the that knuckles. See that scar? I had to do in the mouth one day, and four of his teeth were over into my hand. Look, I got the same scar right there. Look no, at no. that. Hey, yeah. That's, that? one. That's on the side that don't count. <laughs> Was that a street fight or in a, in a boxing a street fight? fight? Street fight. Yeah. Oh, you you used to do a lot of street fights. Yeah, that's how I got into boxing. Really? Mm -hmm. In Brownsville? Yes, indeed, in East New York. It was a tough neighborhood. It still is. People used to make fun of you for being ugly, so you would fight them. <laughs> no, that that was your that was your ass. <laughs> You the, you the ugly one, man. I'm a pretty cat, man. What are you talking what, about? What about you? It's so pretty. 
me as a man, you know, the way I speak, my my mannerism, how I carry myself, you don't you don't you don't understand that. Yeah, okay. I, and that's I, what makes me pretty, man. Okay, I guess I guess you got to look at yourself like that and and say like, yeah, you know, I'm pretty cuz cuz all these attributes that But you, you have. can't say that cuz you don't have those attributes. <laughs> I'm ugly. I'm I know looking I am. At, I'm looking I'm at ugly. you. I, but you look like a silverback, and you say I look like a, a silverback. You look like a silverback gorilla. Like, look at, look, look at your back. big ass. He look like a silverback gorilla. He said I look like a chimp. <laughs> Find out a silverback. A silverback. What? Yeah, man, you all right, man. I, all... I, I tell you what, if you if you ever got some free time on your hand, we can take you to the Memphis Zoo because we don't got no more gorillas, <laughs> and we can put you up in the Memphis Zoo and let all the people come and look at you. You think they're gonna think I'm a gorilla? Yeah. <laughs> Let me find out. <laughs> man, I could use my buddy, man. You're a double agent. Man, you, hey, you, you, you just called. double agent? Yeah, yeah, because he just called me a, a monkey first. I'm just retaliating. He, he looked like a model, though, right? I could be a model, right? I'm a model for Jackson. He looked like a model, right? A model? Yeah. No? He's hard on the eyes. How can he be a model? <laughs> <laughs> you know? He coming for you, bro. He, I know, bro. That's bad. But you nah, guys both got milk. I, I like him. I oh, like you like him. All right, good. Like you see, it's all fun and games. Mm, if I didn't like him, I wouldn't talk to him this morning. Yeah, I um, could. I could take it though. I could. I, I could dish it out. I could take it. But I want to. I want to talk about you. We here to talk about you. Okay, let's talk about me. You're mm -hmm. the only heavyweight that ever uh, unified all four belts. This is true, bro. That's historic. First one mm -hmm. ever. He's the first one, and no one's done it yet, right? First one ever to do it. Yeah, and first heavyweight to do it. Put it on his arms. You have it on your arms? Let me see that. Wow. Man, you so black, you shouldn't even get no tattoo. <laughs> wow. Oh, Wait, so those are your four oh, belts? Oh, tight. Yes, sir. So you carry them around with you everywhere you Hello, go? Hello, come on, somebody. Absolutely. Man, you keep talking about me, man, but you look like a silver back yourself. <laughs> We look alike. No, absolutely not. Yeah, absolutely. I, ain't I just never thought about it. That, we look alike. I ain't never been that goddamn ugly. What oh, you talking oh, about? Oh, man. We look, we look like, hey, hey come you, in. Come I know in you, you think can't me and Rick Bo look like brother. We look like twins. Who? Who I was smiling with you. I look like <laughs> <laughs> hey, he wants to put hands on you. Yeah. No, you still no. got it? That's not what my wood cell looks like. Oh. <laughs> but we don't look alike. What do you think? What do you think? Don't don't we look alike? Yeah, you guys look like brothers. Yeah. I would say you, him, and Shannon Briggs all walk in a room. I'll guess, say that's a family. Guess what I'm going to call you? <laughs> what? A one eye Wiggy, the Wiggy Willie. <laughs> you the one eye Wiggy Willie, man. I might have to put on the shades for this one. He's going to catch me. Yeah. He walked in the Jackson house this morning. And I was playing the fight, the third fight against Evander, where he was throwing that overhand right. And I was watching him, and he's so so humble, so grateful, came through with his team to be on this podcast. means a lot to me. And uh, I saw you looking at the fight, and I, and I saw you kind of like shadow boxing while you were watching the fight. I go, damn, he like still in it. He still got it? And then, and then he, he brought up something to me. You said, that's where Evander lost the fight. I go, why? He go, he winked at me. I break that down to me. Break story. that down. What does that mean? Well, he's in his corner. I'm in my corner. <clears throat> and, you know, we facing each other. And all of a sudden, I seen him look around his trainer and look at me. And he went to the side. Oh, no. And, I, and it made me think, what can I do that's different? And I said, I need to hit him with a lead right hand. So in the bell ring, I walk right to him, a lead right hand, and I want by knockout. Wow. The wink. The wink. Evander Holyfield winks at him. After he knocked him down. After he knocked him down. He winked and I made him stink. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, you make he, wait, you think he shitted himself? I know? know he shitted himself. The baby looked down at him going, ah, and then the referee stopped the fight. <clears throat> he said, I got it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he was too late. <laughs> the wink. But and what what is it about that? What what was it about Evander? Because you already had fought him twice. You know, you won one, you lost one. This is the third fight. Well, um, I think in real honesty, he just made me think. And um, I said, well, what can I hit him with that he's not expecting? And what's the lead by hand? You can get some too. Ain't no shame in my game. Well, me? Yeah, your ass. Who I'm, else? I'm, a, I'm an MMA fighter. Why you want I don't care about you being MMA, BF, BFO, or whatever. You're a fighter. You're a fighter a fighter. Hey, you know, I got a belt too. I got the BBC championship belt. Uh-huh. Yeah you, yeah, you know about that one? Yeah, you know what that stands for, right? <laughs> what? 
I'm, I'm the you the BBO the BBC. I'm the BBC. You no, know, the BBO stands for right. What's BBO stand for? Big black bitch. <laughs> no, <laughs> not the BBC. Not the belt I got. I'm well, just being what's that belt? That's, that, the, BBC that's belt. the that's the best belt you can have in in, in a sport. What's that mean? We got a preacher sitting here at the table, so I yeah, just okay. go with acronyms. Okay. What's that mean? BBC, what's that mean? I'm just, what, what's, yeah. the, what's the acronym? Yeah, what's the acronym stand for? I just want y'all to know that I'm the BBC champion. What, what does that mean, though? Can you break that down for the champ? What's the name of your belt titles? I don't want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> what does BBC stand for? I don't I'm, know. The, I'm the BBC champ. What does that mean? You know we that, understand uh, that. Yeah, tell we, us something. You said it a hundred times. Tell us something we don't know. Yeah, what's it mean? It, it means I'm the best <clears throat> fighter at this table. And I see you at this table as well. I'm the best fighter at this table. Absolutely. I beg to differ. Listen, you might be the best boxer at this table. I'm the best fighter oh, at this table. What's the difference? What's the difference? Okay. In your, in your sport, you can only use your fist. In my right. sport, I can use my fist, my elbow, my knee. Take down slams, jujitsu, and any other martial arts See, that I that's know. That's how I knew I, I am the best. How? Because in my sport, where I come from, that's what you're gonna need to defeat somebody like me. I got some fight. No, you wouldn't want smoke with the champ. He likes six seven, six six. Hey, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Oh wow. I ain't got to worry about the harder they fall. Guess why? Why? I'm not falling. Oh, amen. I like that. And he got the pastor next he, to him. He's never, he's never been knocked out before, has he? No, I've been knocked out. I've been knocked down, though. No. Holyfield, Holyfield in that third fight, they knocked each other down for the first time. Oh. Uh, he knocked Holyfield down for the first time, and Holyfield knocked him down for the first time. That was. I, I got to go back and watch that. I, I, I know I've seen it years ago. But I got to go back and watch it. When I got up, Holyfield had the hell to pay. he never been the same. Really? Yeah, I saw him. I saw him in Saudi Arabia not too long. Did you go to Saudi Arabia? Oh, yeah, I was in Saudi Arabia. Too. You didn't even talk to me in Saudi. You, oh. didn't, you didn't even hang out with me in Did Saudi I Arabia. See you? I, Duh. I don't remember seeing you. What are you talking <laughs> about? What, so what are you talking about? I didn't see you there. No, that's you. Too. You never even hang out with it. I didn't see you there. In were, you, Saudi. were you in that picture with all the fighters? No, I had to go no. use the restroom. Okay, I yelled at him. I yelled at him for that. Ah, you did go to. You you didn't didn't that I'm gonna tell y'all why. I'm gonna tell you why I wasn't you in the picture. Me. You saw me in the picture, didn't you? Yeah, I saw you in the picture. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why I, I didn't do okay, so I didn't get all the information. They gave it to me earlier and stuff, right? And I forget a lot of stuff. You know, my, my brand be all over the place. Poor and dude. I had to dress up, and I don't like dressing up. And I had to wear those like dress shoes, right. and they was hurting me a little bit. So I went to go change, and by the time I came back, y'all took the it picture. It was over. It was over. So I didn't, I didn't I, I you know, I'm socially awkward as well. Mm -hmm. Like when I get around all you legends and stuff, I felt like I felt like weird. It wasn't that many MMA guys there. Right. And half the MMA guys there I fought and stuff. I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't want to be mm -hmm. around all these people. You should have came and hung out with me, man. I should have came. I know. I I, I should have came and hung out with you. You'd have been all right. I cause I, cause if I hang out with you, I'm look better than anybody else around. <laughs> you gonna take the ugliness off of really? me. Really? <laughs> Let me find out. Okay, you do me. Okay. Let me find out. All right. You know what I think he'll find funny? Hmm. T t t tell him about that fight in school in regards to how they called you. I'm telling you what between you told him because I had a lot of them. Riddick Bo. Okay. Ribbit. Ribbit. Who the hell is Ribbit? God damn it. Your ass is Ribbit. <clears throat> Random mouth. <laughs> in school. In school. In school. What they call they, Class, they classmate was uh, trying to pronounce his name. They pronounced it wrong. C called him Ribbit. No, he was being facetious. Oh, he was being facetious. I hate when motherfuckers being facetious. Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. I punch him in the mouth. Bo. Bo. Kids are very smart. Nobody wanted no more of that action. That's Bo. That's Bo. That's how I got the name Bo. I mean, Bo's my last name. But that's when they start calling you Bo. Uh -huh. Cause they, they, could pronounce, they couldn't pronounce Riddick? They could pronounce it, but they ain't, if they said it wrong, they ain't want to take that chance. So. Is that your real name, Riddick? Yeah, that's what my mama named me, that's Riddick. A, that's a cool name. Are, are you mixed uh, with Jamaican or something? No, I'm not making a joke. Here, you know. no. I don't want, boy. Yeah, I'm not making a joke. He is mixed with Jamaica, huh? No, no, no. Bohem Bohemian. Oh, Bohemian. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah, because I because really I never I never heard that. Right, right, right. Yeah, I never heard oh, that. Oh, you name. got Riddick Stevenson. He won the 60th Olympics. Oh, running. He won the gold medal. And he have uh Riddick, what's his name? I'm just gonna say Riddick Jr. 
But he's not my son. He's not your son. Not my. Now Vin Diesel played a movie character Diesel, called Riddick. Yeah, I know. I heard of a movie, but I never heard of a name. What, yeah. What's your fight name though? Do you have a nickname? for Riddick, him? Big Daddy Bo. Big Daddy. Big Daddy, Big Daddy baby. Big like a truck, but smooth like a caddy. <laughs> they call me Big Daddy, baby. I love that. Yeah, I love that. You used to say that at press conferences, all the time. All the time. Yeah. yeah, that's the name of his. Yeah. That's, that's the name of his book, Riddick, Big Daddy Forever. Oh, for real? We got to check that book hey, out. You got a book? Yes, indeed. Let's hear about Man, it. Y'all need to get it and read it. Yeah, I want to read you it. See how I go on. You can read. Yeah, I can read. <laughs> Man, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> I can read well. Okay, you all right? What's your book about? So the book is about pretty much my life. Amazing. And how things took place, how my mother used to go to work. It tells you everything about me. I love that. You have you have an amazing journey. You talk about people talking loud to you and you're ready to just fire on sight. Talk talk to me about that press conference where Larry Donald was talking to you a little too loud. See, I told Larry, I said, stop playing with me. He said, come on, sucker. Come on, sucker. I said, he think he's Muhammad Ali. And he must think I'm Joe Frazier somebody. So I hit him with the left hook right hand. <laughs> at the Caesars Palace, Wayne, you see that? At a press conference. You, you didn't see that video? Famous video, bro. He's at Caesars Palace. They're, they're sitting there at the podium, and you see this guy mouthing off, and he don't play. He don't play boxing. He stand on business. That's a Brownsville but way. But I told him to stop playing with me. I didn't want to hear that match right, then, right uh, now. He said, shut up, sucker, right in the mouth. And what? then he tried to fire back on you? I don't know. Because you two-pieced him. Right, he, he didn't fire back. Was, he it, didn't was, was, the, was it his opponent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Press, yeah. press conference. I, I gotta watch. Conference. I gotta go back. Oh, maybe I've seen the clips on. Uh, anarchy. Uh -huh. Everybody running. Crazy. Right. You, so, you, you caused a lot of chaos. I hit him and realized I was not the one. <laughs> he ain't been the same since. Poor thing. <laughs> do you regret? Do you regret? Absolutely him? not. <laughs> <laughs> I told him to leave me alone. It's not bother. I said, look, man, we're going to fight no matter what you say. So. It is what it is. He just kept bugging me. And then we get on the dash. That's the wrong time to stop playing. So I had to hook him up. Uh, a lot of a lot of moments in your in your career have been just, you know, world famous in the sport of boxing. You did a lot of things and, and you rewrote the history of boxing many times, right? You were one of the greatest to ever do it. Explain to me this this fight with Galata, the, this crazy second fight. He gets disqualified for hitting you below the belt, or what, what was going on with this thing? Well, I think a lot of realized I was going to be there. I wasn't going no place. And for him, he's saying, wow, he's really banging me, so how can I get out of this situation? So he decided to hit me low. He hit me low a couple of times, and I was still there. He didn't know what to do with himself, so I guess eventually he just kept doing it, and the ref stopped the fight. Galata was banging you? Bang me. I thought that's what you said. Hit me low. Hit oh, me. Okay, my bad. Hitting me in the balls. And, but those cups, I, okay, I never had a boxing match. Do they do they hurt when you get hit in the balls? Like do it do it really protect? Oh yeah, they protect you, but the cups are hard around the sides. So when he hit you hard as he can, that's metal going up against your body. Right, going against your groin area. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah, we don't have that in MMA. I wear a steel, I wear a metal cup when I fight in MMA. It's a, a Muay Thai from Thailand. Uh -huh. They make like the steel cups, and I wear those and I and I cram my balls inside there. So people need me and kick me in the nuts all the time just so they get a break because because you, you get five you can get a five minute rest. See, so maybe uh, that's what Galad maybe Galad wanted to break. He, he wanted to break. You yeah. were piecing them up. Huh? Oh, I was putting that thing on him. I lost respect for him when Low he. Cut. I lost respect for Galad when he like didn't want to. He left the fight with Mike Tyson, something like that. You know, I was young. Wow, man. I yeah, so, yeah. so I so I lost. Did you fight him before that or was that after? Before I fought him before. Yeah, you probably pieced him up a little bit. He didn't want to be a fighter no more. Oh, he if he he was he, if he was there fighting Mike Tyson. He wanted to be a fighter because he got the gloves on. Well, he probably wanted the paycheck too as well. Yeah, that, that, that could be a big factor you, as well. You talk about Muay Thai too. That's a great point. Why Why did you end up fighting Muay Thai? Why did What made you want to go fight a Muay Thai fight after your... I wanted to see, you know, what it was about and if I could do it. So that's... Did you like training for that? Training for it. <laughs> did you train for your Muay Thai Absolutely fight? not. <laughs> I don't even know. What, I don't even know what you do for the Muay Thai. You got if you a boxer. You train the Muay Thai. You got to learn how to block the leg kicks and the head kicks. See, I didn't know how to do that. Ooh. That's probably the worst thing he did because like forty five years old kicked him in his leg. He was forty five. You were like forty five years old. Who, yeah. Who did he and fight? 
Uh, it was in K1, right? Was it in K1? In Japan? Yeah. So, yeah. He had those red shorts on. Do you remember the name of the guy you fought? No. Uh. But, and so you, so no, none, nobody in your team told you, like, look, this is what you got to look out for. I wasn't doing it for the money. That was, that was it, really. But your team didn't tell you, look, you got to block the leg kicks and watch out for the head kick. I don't know what a block is. But but who? somebody on his team should have told him. Should have told him. He's been limping ever since. Oh, really? He never got it. You need to go get stem cells. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going I'm to holler at my people at um, BioAccelerator in Columbia and see. If, uh, I know they know who you are. See if they you know willing to hook you up man, some stem you cells. Right. That, that oh, yeah. Yeah. you my hero, man. Because yeah, it, it's prevented right. him from standing completely straight up. Yeah. You know, and really? having a limp. Yeah. So yeah. after after the kickboxing fight, it, it hurt your leg or bruised your leg? What did it do? Damage the ligaments? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you kicked it out the socket or whatever. Wow. Yeah, you know what? Like he didn't even have the, the right team to like people know how to massage it out and stuff like that mm. and everything. Cause I've done a few kickboxing fights. Like some of those guys kick really hard, they can right. really damage. I've seen a guy got hurt, leg his leg hurt so bad and and he flew home like the next day he wasn't supposed to because his leg was hurt so bad. They had to fillet his leg open. Wow. To get all this stuff out. <clears throat> Don't get out. Yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah. I guess he was nervous and got on the plane and went home. Yeah, he didn't know. Like, he didn't know any better. Maybe mm -hmm. that was one of his first fights, right. kickboxing fights. It, um, the legs, the, the the leg kick, that's the only thing that ever hurt me in a fight. Like, you know, my drilling is going so, so, so bad. Like, when I'm fight, I don't, I don't feel nothing. I don't feel the knees. I don't feel the elbows. But the leg kicks, I feel those feel like in my mm -hmm. fights. Because they kick you right in the same spot. Over the over. good ones, they kick you in the same spot over and over. Right there in that big muscle right on your leg. Right, right. You feel those. They they hurt. Yeah, I think God kicked me in my knee <clears throat> one time. I went to one kick and it hurt. And after that, I was hobbling. I've been hobbling ever since. Did you knock him out, though? No, I, it, was time, it was time to go. <laughs> <laughs> time was up. <laughs> I didn't see that. I got to go back and check that. Yeah. You was like, fuck this. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. And you never went back to kickboxing. No, sir. As a as a heavyweight, as a, one of the most accomplished heavyweights of all time, I feel like the battles you've had are, are complete wars. Like the Evander Holyfield right. fights are still watched today as just some of the most brutal, vicious, just all out wars. You guys just stood there and banged. Was mm -hmm. that was that the best fighter you ever fought? I would have to say so. But what you also, what you also need to know is that me and Evander we have a policy. <clears throat> the policy is that if he keeps my name out of his mouth. I'm gonna keep my foot out of his ass. <laughs> 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 like that one. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, what? You like that one, huh? I like that I one. Like hey, that's a good policy. I'm gonna steal that. Can I borrow that? Oh, do your thing, baby. Do I, your like, thing. I appreciate that. What, was he talking loud to you before the fight? No, he never talked loud to me. He was scared? That's just our policy. Was he scared of you? Is that why? Right, he knocked me down. How you gonna be scared of me? No, he ain't scared of me. You have a mutual respect for each other, huh? Yeah, absolutely. He, he's like my brother, man, you know. They really? Were, they, they were sparring partners at one yeah, time. We right? trained together. After after that fight? No, oh. before the fight, they, oh, they were they were on sparring partners at one point in time. But he's a small guy though. Why would it or what you think he's small? You gotta see him, he's your size. He just he just got muscles on top of muscles. But compared to you though, he's small. Cause you a big motherfucker. You like a big silverback. <laughs> I'm you just mad because I'm big like a truck, but smooth like a caddy. And you're mad because you call me Big Daddy. That's all that is. I, I, I was I was surprised to see how big you you was when when I first saw you and stuff in here. But why? why but why? I didn't think like you 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 have a weight boxes, man. Y'all big. Like you, Shannon, Shannon's big. You got, I didn't know you guys was that big. I'm bigger than Shannon. Yeah, you are bigger than Shannon, huh? Mm -hmm. I think you I think you never fought Shannon though. Did you, did you ever fight Buster Douglas back in the day? No, I never fought Buster Douglas. But mm. well, me and Buster Douglas, his style is just like mine, pretty much. Mm. I just hit harder. Mm. Who was your trainer back in the day? You had the one trainer throughout your whole career? Well, I was a professional. Eddie Fudge was my trainer. Mm. He trained who? Several champions before he got Larry Holmes. Eddie Fudge? Yeah. Eddie Fudge, yeah, he oh, trained okay. Larry Holmes. It was a lot of guys he trained. I called myself Lulu Larry then. Lulu Larry. Yeah. Why? That's what is that where the name Lulu Lemon come from? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> at, at, at one point you fought someone and uh, it seemed like the opponent you were fighting had your old trainer, right? You were going into a fight, I think, with Golada, the first one, and wasn't that your old trainer? Absolutely not. 
No. You got some false information? No, I think I think one of your old trainers ended up coming back and, and coaching someone you had a fight going into the fight, right? Mm, I could pull I up the guy's name. Pull it up. Yeah. How would you know anything about that? Nah, not at all. How, not how at did all. you how did you come to know Riddick Bow right now? Riddick Bow, his actual best friend is a guy named Johnny. Johnny moved down to um, Florida oh. from Maryland. He walked into the church one day. He said, hey, this is going to be my church. And Riddick Bow is coming behind me. And I'm like, Riddick Bow the fighter? He's like, yeah, Riddick Bow the fighter. I said, okay. Hey. Next thing I know, when I looked up, Riddick Bow was in the church and his family. Oh, we've been partnering ever since. That's good, man. That's that good. was, what, 2012? 2012? Between 2012 and 2013. Did you baptize him? No, I didn't baptize him. Well, he, he was already baptized before he met you? Were you baptized before you met me? Mm, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you could do another baptize. I think you need to be baptized again. The way <laughs> Why you- don't you let them baptize your ass? <laughs> <laughs> My uncle baptized me when I was really? when I was like seven, eight years old. No, no, that one. Just, how old are you now? Forty-five. That's on war all forty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> The new now, one. Now, now he did rededicate his life there. He, he rededicated yeah, his life. He there. Did so that. when you let the pastor baptize you? No, my uncle baptized me. That means a lot to me. My uncle That's was right. a preacher of 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 a church. Okay, okay. nobody. Where your, where your uncle now? He's in heaven. That's 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 so what. Now you got to you got to redo it now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I I don't know. I don't think I'm. A, I don't think I'm gonna get baptized no more. Cause I like that my uncle. Well, long, baptized. long as you, long as you know you with God, that's all that yeah, matters. That's all that matters. Yeah, you're right. In terms, in terms of fights, it whatever happened to the Lamar Odom fight? You were supposed to fight Lamar Odom. Uh, he didn't show up. I didn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> see, I guess reality struck him. Really, both two time former world heavyweights. You me? I don't have no fights. I don't have nothing. I think I'm gonna stay home, <laughs> and that was smart on his behalf. But, but what, what, wasn't it that that Holyfield had a fight, and the way it kind of ended, they kind of started looking at that, started changing the rules from an age perspective. Don't you remember that? And that hmm. kind of helped hindered your fight with Odom. It could have. It could have. That could have happened. It's been a minute for me. Yeah, and you know us fighters. We yeah, yeah. Know. We got so much going on. We got so much going on in our lives and stuff like that. It's got all these kids and all these other. Right, right. It's hard to remember all the little details. Uh, I, I get that all the time. People ask me questions about stuff I did and, and fights that happened, and I can't remember. So let me ask you a question. So you knew you say you three months out from a fight. Mm -hmm. When did you stop having sex? Two days before the fight. Yeah. We us fighters, we went three months. Y'all go three months. I couldn't do. I couldn't do that. That's it. That's your famous question. You love asking. I do. I do. I love asking that. So you person stopped three months out. Yes, sir. See, this is my thing. I've only stopped six weeks out once when I was married, and um, at the time, my wife had my son, and so I couldn't get none. And I, you know, when I'm when I'm married, I don't even look at another woman. But mm. that time, I was looking at the ring girls, and I didn't like that. I was distracted. My first time, even looking at girls being married, and but but I was so I, I was so angry and so vicious in that fight. I wanted to do it again, but I just I just didn't have the willpower. That's why they say you shouldn't, because if you build up, you get a whole lot of anger, and, you, and your opponent in trouble. Yeah, he was my opponent was trouble, and, I, and where I was fighting at the first minute, the first round was ten minutes, mm -hmm. and then we had two fives. And I was totally against this rule in Japan where you can stump the guy's head wow. when he's on the ground. But I was so vicious for that fight. I was stumping the guy's head, uh, soccer, soccer kicking his face on the uh. ground. I was um, disappointed in myself after the fight. I was really- Why, hurt. did you win? I won, though. I stumped the mud hole in his ass. Uh, that's the understatement. <laughs> <laughs> and that was their rule in Japan. Yeah, you could wow. do that. You can, you can, you can, Kick a man while he was down. You can kick his head, stump. You can jump on his head if you wanted to. Mm. And I was totally against that rule. That was All the right. only rule I was against. But I was so vicious. I hadn't had sex in six weeks. That's the longest. <laughs> that was as long as I've been without sex since college. I mean, fine. what did you major in? Uh, I got. I, I left. I didn't major in. I was there for wrestling, so I didn't really major in anything. You know I mean, what I majored in when I went to college, right? What uh, zoology? <laughs> kick ass out. <laughs> <laughs> zoo Why you think it's zoology? Cause you, cause you look like a silverback from the zoo. Joe look like a silverback, man. Stop playing. Joe who? Joe Mama. <laughs> 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 
I can't believe you just walked into that one. I, I, I remember that he did it on Family Feud. How could I let him give you with that one? I saw that go. Chance to be you. Chance, you still got it, Chance. What am I doing with you, man? Man, I don't know, man. Let me find out. You uh, just did. I just did. I like you, man. You I like all you right. too. I like you too, man. I love everybody. That's good. Man. Even some of the people I don't like. Oh, do you love Lennox Lewis? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh. I just asked you a question. You said you love everybody. What's your thoughts on him, champ? Lennox yeah, Lewis. I, lo- I love him as a person. Yes, absolutely. Okay. He's, he's a good um, gentleman. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Oh, if if Lance Lewis walked in here right now, he want to take you to dinner. He gonna want more of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> but why though, champ? Absolutely not. I don't need no man taking me to dinner. It's not no. It's not that type of dinner. Okay. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> if we go to dinner, who paying for the dinner? Y'all, y'all, y'all go Dutch. Oh, I ain't got no problem with it, man. Okay. That's nice. Would you Would you like to fight Lennon Lewis though? Back in the day, always, you? always. Even even now, that's the only person I will come out to. I will come out and retire to fight. They're doing this stuff in Saudi Arabia right now. They're doing the Legends League, right? Right. So we you should call them and give them, you know, make the fight for me. Matter of fact, we'll let you be the referee. I'll, I'll ref that fight for sure. Wow. That'll be good. That'll be legendary. Yeah. Yes, I, after one of your fights, you, you come out the ring, and it seems like he had, uh, Lennox Lewis had like headphones on or something, right? Mm-hmm. He was trying to talk to you or interview you, and you told him right there that he could get it. I think you called him a bum or a chump or something. Why, all why, that. All of that. You wanted all the smoke with him at all times. Absolutely. And you guys just could never come to an agreement on a fight, the splits, or what was it? He was... Ducking and dodging, if oh. the truth be told. Oh. And then the fight never took place. He didn't want it with you? No. So it never even got to negotiations, the money or nothing? No. He just said, no, I ain't fighting that. He didn't want, he didn't want no smoke. Mm. I was the champ. Yeah, it says, it, a lot of people says, you know, say that HBO had put out a, a, a payment, like a, a like a, a bid, a purse bid, like 30, 40 million or something, and you guys couldn't come to an agreement on the fight. Right. And that... You know, you guys couldn't figure out the way to split it, but it seems like you always wanted to fight. He, bro, he's the one that never wanted to fight. Man, Got you, it. you mean to tell me that a boxer, anybody would turn down a, a $30, 40000000 million split? He did. Listen, we had the WBC. I was the champion. It took the belt from me, gave it to him, but he never wanted, he still didn't want to fight. Is, is that why you, you threw the belt in the garbage? Which belt did you throw in the garbage? The WBC, WBC belt. Was it because of the fact that the deal or deal with Olenek Lewis, or was it something else? Uh, without question, that was that was the situation. Which garbage you thought? It, I'm going to go get it. Which belt you thought? <laughs> I already got it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you do the pun. Uh, so when you threw the belt in, in, in the garbage, I know that was a big moment in boxing because people didn't understand it at the time. And back then, they didn't have social media. And it seems like people didn't understand the message you were trying to get. What is the message that you were trying to give to the boxing world when you threw it in the trash can? I'm the champion. How can you protect him more than you protect me? So that's why I threw it in the garbage. But but Got it wasn't it. really your idea to throw the belt in the garbage to no. begin with, was it? No, it wasn't uh, initially, but I was told that if I did this, people would take me serious. Yeah, <laughs> because a lot, a lot of people, you know, whether they be in you know, on YouTube watching videos or boxing historians, they look at that moment and I think it sent a lot of confusing messages to people, right? They didn't understand, is the champ giving up? Is the champ retiring? Does the champ want nothing to do with boxing or the WBC? Because all these belts are different kind of organizations and they have taxes on your belts. Yeah, and you, yeah I heard about that. And yeah, when you walk in- They get paid when you fight. They take a piece of your purse. Like what, yeah. was it 3% or 2% or something like that? I forget what. You forget, yeah, yeah. that's- yeah, that's that's crazy. It's interesting. So for him to walk in with the four belts, that that means four people are taking little pieces of his purse, right? Every time uh, he would get paid. Uh, four different organizations. Yeah, yeah. Right. And you know what they do with the money is what they do with the money, right? Right. Got it. And and Lennox Lewis, even throughout his career, as he had the belts and did his thing, he's one of the greatest as well. He still never came to you, and that they it was never an agreement made that couldn't be made to go get this fight. It was just it was just a flat no every time. Every time, but at the end of the day, I, I seen him something. I'm done. For. What, what did I see him? Man? You, you saw him. As, you saw him in Saudi Arabia, and one of his one of his guys who was with him were kind of talking junk about the fact of 
you not fighting him, so on and so forth, but he being the greatest. But obviously, it was just coming from one of his guys. The next mm-hmm. was standing there, you were standing there. I think you were trying to play the gentleman at the time. Yeah, we just settled in and said, look, man, we cool. I'm cool with you. I don't have no problem. We made peace. Wow. But you know how I go in his mouth. First, <laughs> first chance I get. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you feel after uh, after they canceled that uh, Evander Holyfield after Evander Holyfield and uh, Vitor Belfort fought? I feel like they canceled a lot of the super fights they were trying to get with you. Do you feel that people were kind of just lumping you in with Holyfield after his performance of what you could do? Do you feel like you still had stuff in the gas tank? Um, it's hard to say, you know. Got it. Because I guess you don't know for the Evander. We were in our prime and things of that nature. He's a little bit older than I am, so. It's hard. It's really hard to say. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people were trying to put together some super fights. You versus some celebrities, you versus other fighters. And at the time, it seemed like a lot. I of- want him. Oh, you want Rampage? Rampage. Why, why you want to fight an MMA fighter? Because your ass is just as good as anybody else's ass. Well, why not? <laughs> just going just gonna to knock out an MMA fighter. Uh, well, it depends. If it's, yeah, I'm going to see how you take certain shots if you, you know. I can take I can take a shot now. You, you might roll with a shot. I can I'm faint you. I'm gonna see how you're gonna react to certain things. I, yeah, I got I got a unique style. I got I have the best defense in fighting. But I know what style you're gonna have when I'm done with you. <laughs> on your back. <laughs> on his back. On your back. You mean like on the on the mat, on the canvas of the, of the ring? One. Two, you getting counted. Who are you out. looking at down there? Who's down there? His ass. Hey, oh, you're you're down there though. Hey, yeah. Bear, I think Jackson need to sponsor the bottom of his shoes if we fight. <laughs> Why does every heavyweight champion want to fight you? He's, he's there. Why not? Yeah. He ain't got, well, I ain't got nothing else I got, to do. I, I guess I guess I got that type of face you want to punch. I think it's the cover and roll. They're scared of it. They yeah. want to see if they could if they got, could do anything to it. Yeah, oh, y'all can, can't mess with my cover roll. I got the you, best cover and roll in the business. Overhand right can, could do I, something. I can block and roll. I can do all that crap too. <laughs> <laughs> I, the overhand, the overhand right. How that come? Ooh, teeth everywhere. Ooh, <laughs> and you got a mouthpiece in your mouth. So what does that tell you? You got a pretty smile. I'm about to mess that up. No, 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 no. My teeth are strong. I got the best mouthpiece. I got unbreakable mouthpiece. I bet you whoever made your mouthpiece, you're going to be mad with them. No, never. I've been need. I've been needing the mouth 15 times. Really? Not a problem. I, you guys can look it up on the internet. Wow. I got need yeah, in the mouth. First time for everything. <laughs> you think you think you could do something to that oh, job? Absolutely. Man, this right hand is impeccable. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, that pretty smile, man. All your whites be on the floor. <laughs> mm. and, uh, what's up with these old? He got old nice white smile, like Colgate smile. He looks yeah. like he could be in a Colgate smile. Colgate need to give him money. I brush three times a day. He can three do. Th- I love a these Colgate teeth. commercials. Yeah, you can love them when they're on the camera. That's what you're <laughs> gonna do. Oh no, I ain't going out like that. If I go on your mouth, man, ain't nothing you can do about it. He got big. He got big hands. He got big hands. He got big, yeah, yeah. He got listen. He got big hands, but I bet you, I bet and, you I got speed. I bet you I got speed. I, I, I be moving. I be you, moving. You're not as time. fast as I am, but I can tell you something, man. These hands are educated. <laughs> mm. They giving a lesson. I wish those hands were smart enough to put lotion on themselves. <laughs> <laughs> They don't need no lotion. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, they wait, do. Wait. What kind of education could they give Rampage? Ass whooping at you. <laughs> like you've been punching, up, beating up flower bags. Sometimes. <laughs> and sometimes it's, it's your bag. Don't <laughs> where, where did you get your unique style? It seems like you were uh, untouchable in the ring. I mean, uh, your career was insane. Your record's insane. Where did you get this style? How did you, how did you learn this? Muhammad Ali. Really? He's the greatest and I'm the latest. He's Rumble, the... young man, Rumble. You sound like Muhammad Ali. Yeah, you do. They He's do. the greatest, I'm the latest. Is that yours or is that his slogan? Who said that? That's, my, that's uh-huh. what I'm saying. Oh, okay. That's that's who you looked up to as you yeah, was coming up. Yeah. Did hey. you um ever look into like Jack Johnson and those Absolutely those not. I loved him. Oh, he said absolutely not. <laughs> he said absolutely. Absolutely not. What? He Jack said, Johnson? Jack Johnson, I thought he fought. I guess that was different, you know. No, not not just his fight, not just his fighting, just like what he did in the sport and stuff. Like I look yeah. up to some fighters that I don't really like want to fight like that. So like like Anderson Silva. I look up to Anderson Silva in my sport, right? But I would never try to fight like him because he's right. a totally different style. I like Jack Johnson from what I, I, I like learned. Joe about. Lewis. I'm Joe Lewis. You know, Joe Joe Walcott. 
Uh, a lot of Frazier, Foreman. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Did you ever fight Foreman? No. You ain't fought nobody. That's because nobody wanted to fight uh, me, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm gonna do with you, but okay, so if I don't live, there's nobody. Oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Fought three times, but uh, but you fought Mike Tyson. No, me and Mike. Shannon went, Briggs. Me and Mike went to school together. Shannon oh, is young. behind me. Oh, oh he's young. Oh, he's a younger. But they can, they can, he can still get it. You fight Joe Frazier? No, I ain't that old, man. Oh. <laughs> you look that old. He he got he got forty five wins, like forty three knockouts, and maybe one loss, one like loss, two losses, one loss, one, one loss, one one one. Respectfully, my bad. Man, that's questionable. It was a it was a that, bad decision. That was, that was when the fan man came into the um, rank. The yeah. fan man. What yes. happened with the fan man? I saw saw a clip of that. He got the brakes beat off him. I ain't seen him since. <laughs> what? Why they? Why, why did they break? Why did they uh, beat the brakes off the brakes off the fan man? Because he came into the ring. And he messed the fight up, so. Do you know what happened? I seen some guy with a big fan on his ass, right? He like came, a real one, uh, huh? Yeah, like, he landed in the arena. They watched him fly around the arena the entire time prior to coming down. Was it a crash land, or he did it on purpose? Oh, no, he did it on purpose. He, on purpose. He, he was actually trying to land in the ring, but he landed right outside the ring, and they got a chance to get to him. Ooh, they pulled Who beat him up? Him? The Everybody. Oh, oh, no, the, the fans, the, the, the guys who were in his corner and the guys who was in Holyfield's corner. So so when he so so how did that mess up the fight though? Well, we had to wait. He he, he was winning at the time. Cold. Oh yeah. Wait, say that again. You got what? Cold. So you were you were fighting him. You got cold because you had to wait. Right. And your how, your muscles tense up. How long was the wait? I think about a half an hour. Yeah, Twenty minutes. 20, 20, 20, what? 20 yeah. They didn't just cancel the fight. Call it no contest. Yeah. No, this, this is like what the fourth round or so, fifth round? When was it? I forget what round. Yeah, it was early in the fight. Yeah, yeah it was early in the fight. But it was, there was also a lot of chaos, right? A couple hundred thousand dollars in damages or something. Everybody was going crazy, or was that another fight? There was some. There was some riot in in the fans outside. Oh, there, there was there was a fight right there. Yeah. yeah. Can I can I tell you what I what I heard? I heard that Holyfield paid the fan man like, look, if I start getting my ass kicked, you come <laughs> land in this ring and and help me win this fight. Uh -huh. That's what I heard. I'm telling you, he was talking about it in the Saudi. We but flew that, in the but, same airplane. But that is not the Holyfield fight. Oh, who who was you? Fight? I thought you was fighting Holyfield. Who was that? Who it was, was, it was, Holyfield. was Holyfield. Thank you. That was Holyfield that was talking about it. Right, that was Holyfield. Why are you trying to trip me up? I'm, I'm just, I'm just. I'm telling you, I flew, I flew back from Saudi Arabia with Holyfield and his wife. And they was talking, I was eavesdropping, right? Because I got really good ears. I was ear hustling. And Holyfield was saying that he paid the fan man to come and do that. If he was losing the fight, that he was supposed to come and, and land there. Oh, well, he was losing the fight. Well, that's why they. they that's, I'm, that. just, I'm just telling you what I, what I ear hustled. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should get him for another fight, three fight. Yeah, I, mean, I think y'all should do that one over. Be four fight. He'd be the first guy that I beat three times. Yeah, I think you should do that in, in, in um, Saudi Arabia. I want to be on that same card because then I want to fight the winner. I want to, because after you beat Holyfield, oh, so you then wanna, I want to fight you. You want me to dust your little junky ass off too? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I want right. you to try. After you beat Holyfield, because I want I want, I want them to do a Legends belt. In you don't, but you don't know the things that you can't see. You don't realize what the, uh, wrestling or whatever you do, MMA. Yeah. It's not like boxing. I can catch shots and roll with them. You're not going to do that. You're going to be right there. Boom. Take I'm, it on. Take it on the chin. You know what? Because I like to um, take challenges. I want to see if I can take your hardest punch. Okay. And if you take my hardest punch, guess what you're going to do? What? You're going to miss Christmas. Come <laughs> <laughs> Now, now the, the fight that was in Saudi Arabia... Was with the MMA fighter, right? Right. And what happened? What happened with I that? I don't want to talk. Nah, I know you don't want to talk. <laughs> the boxers don't never want to talk about that. This guy's a double H. I thought he was on my team, my buddy. He's going to tell you about the fighters. How did, you, how did you feel about that fight? You was watching just like I was watching front row. How did you feel about that MMA fighter fighting the right now the best heavyweight in the world right now? And Francis Ngannou fighting Tyson Fury. A MMA guy, first time boxing, fighting a heavyweight champion in boxing. He fought Tyson Fury. I thought Tyson should have knocked him out, but, you know, some things happened. Um, and I thought they pretty much gave the right decision on that. What? Yeah, you don't think so? No, because Tyson Fury got knocked down, got dropped, and I thought... I thought um, That's one point. 
No, uh, no, it was, that was a 10, 10, 8 round, though, right? Right. Okay, and then I thought that Tyson Fury lost a little bit. Uh, I, lost, I think he lost a few more rounds. I, I think, thought all the other rounds were close, and they could have go. It could have went either way, so. All right. I, you, you, know, okay. you know more about it than me. <clears throat> I give you that. And you got to take this in consideration. There were four or five rounds before he did anything. Tyson Fury won of the first four or five rounds without question. Okay, so let me let me ask you this then. Say if you're in a fight and you're fighting a champion and you drop him in like the what, the fourth round? Mm-hmm. And and that's the only person that hit the mat. Don't you think you should should get your hand raised? Absolutely not. Mm. What about the other? What, what about the first four or five rounds? Who won those? I won those rounds. You only won one round. He, but but we all know Francis round. won more than one round though. That's not the only round where he showed up. He won more than one round. It seemed like to me that's the only more because you was watching with biased eyes. No, that's no. Why. You say I'm biased. I'm just keeping it real with you. He may have won two, three rounds, but there's ten rounds. I won seven. Hmm. Do the math. <laughs> Do the math. Yo, champ. What's what's your thoughts on Tyson Fury? He one of the greatest of all time. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Man, I've been looking at this dude and what the hell? What are they talking about? And he don't have no style. He's long, he's like lurch. Come on, man, please. What's up? Why he don't even get his body together? How you gonna be? You know, you and the guy, he for boxing, he was an embarrassment because he let this guy drop him. Uh, would you have got dropped by Francis and Gunner? Absolutely not. You gonna get dropped by me, <laughs> and I'm not. I'm not as big as Francis. How would you do against him, champ? I'm gonna tear his ass out the frame. <laughs> he ain't never gonna be the same. When you see him, you say, "Who did that to you?" Riddick, Riddick did it. Riddick did it. Riddick did it. <laughs> so he going now. Riddick did it. Riddick did it, champ. You guys both got belts. He got a belt. Yeah, he, I, one of the greatest got, UFC champions yeah, of all time. Yeah, but you don't have four like I have. I have two, three. I got three belts. Don't they don't count? <laughs> why? They, why? Why don't my belts count? I'm the first ever unified champion of my sport. Yeah, well, I unified I am both belts. I am the unified champion. I'm the unified champion. Yeah, well, that's good. Unified against unified. Okay. Yeah. That'd be, oh, wow, that'd be the unification. That'd be the unification. <laughs> well, can you I have got, your four belts? When you I got, beat you, can I have your four belts? You got Jackson on that hat. Yeah. But when I'm done with you, you will have Bo on that hat. Oh, that's messed up. He, right. He's sunning you. Oh, man. That's messed up. You're going gonna to sun me? That's messed oh, up. I ain't got nothing else to do. Why not? <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. You're not as pretty as me, so you can't be my son. Oh, oh man. Even worse. So you're only, you only 11. I can't be. You're only 11 years older than me. You could be my older brother, though. Absolutely not. I'm going to tell everybody you're my big brother. That would be great. Don't be lying to me. <laughs> you wouldn't claim me as your but little you're brother. But you're not as pretty as I am, man. Oh, we look just alike. Who told you that? I can see it. I can, I'm looking in the mirror. Let me find out. Okay, man. Pastor. What do you think, come Pastor? On, come on, come on. He just got a little bit more hair than me. <laughs> and I a little more you than him, like brothers. You look like brothers. Thank you. Yeah, you look you alike. Look you look like, like a brother. He's just telling the truth. You guys are both like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. You guys are no, both... No, he ain't 6'5", 5'11". What? Six, six, I'm 6'1". 6'1". 6'1". He's just 1". I'm 6'1". Okay. 6'1", six, one. Six, one, but he be, he like 230. Look, look, I'm, I got muscles too up under here. Yeah. My muscles bigger than yours. You bigger than I got bigger muscles. But you 6'1", you not... Man, it's amazing. I ain't know they can do that. Wow. You know, I know they can do that. Wow. Wow. I got, hey, I got a lot of fight in me. Six one. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I never I never knew they could do that, man. Do what? Stack shit that high. <laughs> 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 why you, why you, why you, why why you got to play him like that, Chan? <laughs> oh, he know I got jokes. Is he, he an easy I... target? Is that why you ain't scared of him? Is that why? I ain't scared of nobody. Because you wouldn't treat a Vander like this. How come I wouldn't? You would bully him like this? I ain't bullying. I be joking. Oh, okay. Hey, the new age. This is bullying the new age. Did you know that? Let me. Know how you? But I don't know, how do you figure that? Because they they think that uh, you know back in our days, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words would never hurt me. But the new age, words hurt them. Yeah. Yeah, that's bullying now. Well, it sucks to be them, not me. <laughs> I know. Was there someone that gave you trouble getting up in the league when you were getting your belts? Was there someone that gave you a a prom? Always coming for you in interviews. Always 
causing chaos for you? Guys, I guess guys who wanted to fight, but they know they couldn't win. They just trying to make money. Just selling the fight. Absolutely. Was Was you worried about anybody coming up on your on your search for the belts and stuff? You wasn't worried. Absolutely not. <clears throat> I was kicking ass and taking names. That's what's up. Mic drop. <laughs> Mic drop. Hey, no one. No That's one. No one. So, so Ty, Tyson Fury is not on your top five list of all time. No. No. Who is on your top five list of all time? My top five list is Muhammad Ali, Larry Holmes, Joe Frazier, Floyd Mayweather, Vander Holyfield. He's not a heavyweight. Oh, okay. He said, "Are you talking to my heavyweight?" And Riddick Bow. Uh, what about all time? That is all time. That's no, it. regardless whether it's heavyweight or middleweight. Okay, you got. It. Gotta say. Floyd Mayweather. Absolutely not. Conor McGregor. <laughs> Francis and Ganyu for Francis sure. Francis and Ganyu for gotta sure. You gotta put him on there now. But I'm, you ask me what I want. Okay, okay. okay. That was your mouth saying. Okay, okay, my bad. Okay, you got Muhammad Ali, uh, Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, Joe Lewis, and the other Joe. Joe Frazier. Joe Mama. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. You got me twice. That's who you look like, Joe Frazier. There you go. Put it like Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier. I don't look that like Joe Frazier. I Coach, love you, though, Coach, man. Do I look like Joe Frazier? Thank you. You don't think so, Coach? No. You need the eyes. You need some new eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. Uh, yes, he's Have you ever met Joe Frazier? Absolutely. Is he a cool guy? Yeah, him and him and Ali. Yeah, I met them before. He ain't that big, but he, he's shorter than Pastor. Are you shorter than Pastor? Yeah, he wasn't that, that tall. I saw Muhammad Ali at a K one event in Vegas, and I wanted to go talk to him so bad, but he had so many people <clears> bothering <throat> himself, so I didn't leave him alone. And you know, I, I, now I regret not even going to shake his hand because I've always looked up to him. Yeah, me too. If it wasn't for him, I probably <clears throat> wouldn't have been a fighter. Oh, for real? Yeah. He was a big deal back then. I was then. going to the Marine Corps. If I watched John Wayne on TV, he was a captain or whatever. But then um, a teacher brought a tip about Muhammad Ali. I would hear my brothers and sisters talk about him, but, you know, in passing, I guess. But this one day, she brought the tape to school. I watched him. He said, come on, sucker. Come on, sucker. I did the dream. And like I'm looking at you, he turned and looked at me. And I thought, I said, wow, he's talking to me. I've been in love with him ever since. Oh, yeah, he's good. So, so that's when he started boxing the, in right. school. They brought the, the video when he watched it. Yeah. But tell him about the first time you ever met him. Okay, I almost got into a fight with him. What? Why? I was fighting for the Golden Gloves. <clears throat> I was getting ready for the fight, and how he psyched himself up or whatever. But he was behind me. He said, come on, sucker. Come on, sucker. I did a dream. And I didn't pick it up like I was supposed to, so I made it out of my face. I'm getting ready for a fight. You didn't turn around and see who? No. Uh -huh. Five minutes later, he starts up again. Now I'm angry. I turn around, and it was him. <laughs> Man, I was cocked and everything. He gave me this hug. I went out there and the guy four and out about twenty four seconds. <laughs> Ain't that something? That's a good story. He right? was just chanting for you, getting you hyped up for the fight, huh? Man, you about to knock him out? He he's brooding. Well, for you. I didn't know he was there. I didn't yeah. know, you know, because what had happened was the Golden Gloves knew that I loved him and he was my idol, mm. so they brought him there. But I didn't know. Wow. That's good. You know what I liked about Muhammad Ali? One thing too, he was really good inside out the ring. He loved the kids and and he stood Just up like for me. yeah, stood up for what and he loved the ladies. You love the ladies? Duh. Good, cause after I knock you, I'm a ladies nuts all on your face. <laughs> really? Let me find out. I'm gonna do the same to you. Take for the water. <laughs> yeah, I had to get it back. I had to, I had to get him it back. Out. I will let him. I will let him back. But I'm gonna let now when I lay him out, I know what to do. Yeah. I was hoping you would get one in. I had to get that was one. A great in. one. He got, me with the Joe, he got me with the Joe and piling the stack of shit. I couldn't let you win everything. In terms of Muhammad Ali, champ, like, was it was it the inspiration or was it his style? What is the way he talks? Because we've never seen another fighter like him. It what was is it that inspired he, you? I was just too big to fight like him. Mm. I tried to fight the way, but I always got tired. Mm. But um, I tried to stay out of trouble and to respect people like he did. So that's uh, because of him, 
I believe um, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be me. Champ, one thing that I feel is unfair is I feel like a lot of videos, a lot of people have said, you know, that maybe you were lazy. But how could you be lazy if you were the champion? You can't be lazy. That's an oxymoron, so I don't know how to put them two together. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I never understood that. You know, obviously, I, I wasn't there to watch these fights. I'm just watching highlights, and your style was unreal, and you just were, you know, brutal in there, right? You were attacking yeah. at all times. You stand in the middle. You bang. You were never scared of anybody. I just don't, I didn't see laziness in any of those videos, any well, of those fights. people say things because they know that it's, it's going to make you angry or what have you. Yeah. Or they just say things because they know they, they can get away with it. Yeah. Well, there's a video you, you were training, and there was a piece of cake in the back of the gym. And you said, well, if there's cake there, I'm going to go eat it. Did that video have anything to do with that? No. Okay. I was just joking at the time. And they just ran that video? That's what it is. I got it. So they spun that video and tried to use that against you. Yes, indeed. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense because, I, you know, respectfully, I never, I never seen how anybody could be called lazy if they're a champion. Right. Well, if I was so lazy, you know, Holyfield's a machine. Why couldn't he want me? Yeah. Thank you. You worked hard. You used to run and stuff for your fights? Yes, indeed. How four, many miles? Four miles every morning. What, wow. You wake up early in the morning, like like 5 a.m. and run? Yes, indeed. And you train three times a day for your for your boxing fights? Two times a day. Uh, but you didn't count your your morning run as a, as a workout? Not really. And then I come back, take a shower, go to sleep, wake up, have lunch. Then we go train for the afternoon. In the afternoon. Mm. Wow. You would, you would go run, you would come home, you would shower, you would sleep, you would eat lunch, then you would go spar, and you did this seven days a week? Or you take a few days off? Five days a week. Five days a week. What about Saturday? Did you do anything on Saturday or you rest? We rest on Wednesday and Saturday. Oh, so you have two, you have, so you have three days off a week? Two. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it was Sunday. It was um, we train Saturday, we rest on Sunday. Did you train once on Saturday or twice? Ones. Where'd you mainly train out of? A house. <laughs> just built a gym at your house? No, I'm just building a gym. Well, I had a gym in my backyard, yes. Oh, got it. Is that where you would hold your camps? No, well, what I would do, I would, just, I would train in the gym, and when it got time to go close to the camp, then I would go to the training camp. Got it. And you always did the training camp at the same gym, same team, or did you yes, change sir. up a couple times? No, I didn't no. change that. Wow. Everything stayed the same. And is that is that what you think uh, attributes to your such amazing career? I mean, so many wins, hardly any losses. I mean, is that... Only is that one, because, he only had one loss, only and one loss. Was because of the yeah. fan, man. Yeah, so is that what you think, is that you kept it consistent with your team and your coach? Because we see so many boxers in today's day and age, every, every other fight they're getting a new team. Every other fight they have a new coach. It seems like there are so many conflicting styles and messages. Well, I guess those guys, they go with... What makes them comfortable? Mm. So that's what they do. I was comfortable, comfortable with my team, so I, I stayed, with, stayed with them. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people talk about in '96 there was this riot right at, at Madison Square Garden during the the Golada fight. Mm -hmm. what, what was the riot about? Why you started the riot? It seems like your team stepped in the no. ring. They tried to fight him or something. Of course, he kept hitting me low. When the fight was over, they were angry. They was expressing, you know, how they felt. But what started the chaos? Did your team go in there and try to beat him up? They ain't try to beat him. They beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> Goliath told me you started the whole thing. It was I was on the camera holding my balls. Half of it, I know. I don't even remember, but I remember seeing a guy hit him and hit the Goliath in the head with a walkie-talkie. That's pretty much it. Now, now you you've run into Galata recently, mm -hmm. and, and you guys kind of. Made up in a sense. Yeah, we we buddies. Are y'all buddies now? Oh yeah, absolutely. So he apologized to me, told me he was sorry. Okay, man, that's in the past. Don't worry about it. Well, since you're a man of the most high, forgiveness is everything, you know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what's up. What's your what's your thoughts on Mike Tyson? Everybody calls him the baddest man to ever walk the planet. You think he was the best the best ever, besides Ali? In his era. In his era. Yeah, he he he, he was. He was the best because I don't know. Guys didn't think how they should find them or when they should find them. They wasn't thinkers. Me, I would, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, you know. So they didn't do those type of things. I think a lot of times when they fought Mike, they wouldn't have for a paycheck. Mm. 
Real talk. Oh, that's real, that's different. Real talk, unstate right here. If Mike Tyson would have bit your ear, what would you would have did to him? I bit his damn ear. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have got mine back. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't too much to that man. <laughs> were, were you sad when he uh, when he bit your your friend's ear? I wasn't sad because it wasn't my ear, but <laughs> I felt you know, I felt like you know he could have did something else. See. I believe that with Mike, you know, he and I went to school together. My thing is this, he didn't want to lose. And he was fighting Holyfield and he was able to come with a combination. He said, you know what, I don't want to be here. How can I get up out of here? And then that thought came to him, I can bite his ear off. He could have did something else. And he was saying he was saying that um, Holyfield was headbutting him. That's why he bit his ear. He headbutted me too. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. I look at him every day. But <clears throat> um, I try to use, start using my jam on with Holyfield. And that's the fight they gave him. But anyway, I just felt like you could have thought about doing something also. You had to buy the deal. I would probably would have elbowed him or something or like that. You need him or something. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about that fight? I, I, I was out here earlier in, in the gym with you. And you were teaching me the jab. You were teaching me the right hand. And you go, look at this fight. And it was Jesse Ferguson. And you were telling him something before you gave him that work. What were you telling him? Keep my name out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, you be training with Will Smith, huh? Yeah, no. But what I told him, I'm before Will Smith. Keep my name out your mouth. And I'm going to keep my foot out your ass. <laughs> and then you put the work on him? Absolutely. <laughs> now, now, you remember, um, you remember Tyson... For middle school, so you remember him when he was a bully, when he would come around with his boys and so on and so forth. Right. Tell us a little bit about that when you well, see him. Well, I remember one day he was bothering this girl, and I say, "Man, won't you leave her alone?" Do that, me. And you know, I can tell he was thinking, and he, you know, so I, I'm looking at him. I know he want to say something, and I said to him, Mike. Don't get fucked up. <laughs> and he, left, he left the girl alone. You would have you would have put hands on him? How come I wouldn't? You, he, were you already boxing in? He, he wasn't a Mike Tyson we know today. Mm. He wasn't boxing, I wasn't boxing. Mm. But you was yeah. bigger than him though already. Absolutely. Damn. So he, what was were you guys friends in middle school? He left he left the girl alone. You guys were friends? Uh we was associates. Because <laughs> I seen him in school and we passed each other. Yeah. Wasn't friends. We hung with different cools and things of that nature. You Howard, see, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. He has to do his own podcast. Yeah. He has to do more. He has to do more stuff like definitely, that. He he definitely. he is very funny. He's very knowledgeable. Got he has a lot of stuff to talk about. Make sure you 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 guys. Send me when he do a semi, so I will help you guys promote whatever you guys need. He, man, you all right. I try to be. <laughs> you all right. I try to be. You my brother from another mother. Right. Oh, now y'all brother. Now y'all brother. Now you're my brother. Yeah. 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 But yeah. you yeah. still ain't pretty as me, though. <laughs> no, I'm about to tell you the same thing. Yeah. He got enough siblings. <laughs> you know, you got 13 siblings. You got 13. That's why you don't want to claim me as a brother. No, this is why I will be asked. <laughs> Yeah, see, I'm gonna tell you something. Because I'm next to the youngest, <clears throat> I had to fight for everything. And I truly believe because of my brothers and sisters, I could slip, bro. Before I, I was doing it, before I even know what I was doing. Now, 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 your dad wasn't around. What, what, what's that? Your dad. What's the dad? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? So, I don't know no dad. With your dad <laughs> not being around and you. Wanted to find out where your dad was. T t tell him about that story. My mother slapped the dog shit out of one day. Why well, you asked about your dad? Yeah, so my mom was like, hey. she said, I'm your daddy. I'm your <laughs> mammy and your pappy. And she, she, she called me. She, she said, oh, Are you hungry? I said, No. She said, Are the lights on? She said, Are you cold? I said, No. She said, Yeah, well, I'm your mammy and your pappy. Never asked about him or daddy. And you never met him? What about when you got real famous and out there fighting and stuff? He nobody never came to say, "Hey, look, I'm your pappy." Mm -mm. Wow, mama did that. That was my pappy right there, my mama. And I ain't been slept like that since, man. <laughs> mama, old mama, be bad. That was 
pull me back. She said, Mama. She put a Will Smith slap on you, huh? No, slap. I got Will Smith don't come close. <laughs> <laughs> she don't go, it don't come close. I'm trying to tell you, man. She slapped me and I was scared of my mama for a little while. Uh. During the time where you had the belt, you were traveling around doing a lot of press, a lot of PR. You did a you did a video with Will Smith. You were trying to teach him how to box. No, not teach him how to box. I did the show. I did the show with him and what have you. And um, I had a lot of fun doing the show with Will. But he Will is not a fighter. Did Did you meet his wife, Jada? No. Oh, you didn't. You, he kept his wife away from you, huh? They weren't together at the time. Was oh, this is a long time ago. Right. Oh, uh, uh, this is uh, this is a long. Th time. This was during the show. Will Fresh Smith, Prince. Um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, Fresh, oh. When he was the champ. When he was the champ, he did PR, running yeah. around the, the the world. You you went to Africa. You went to Europe. You were all over the place. Yeah, man. I, I was doing the damn. Thing. Oh, this is when he was young. Yeah, yeah he was no. on the show. You. Oh, that's when I was pretty. Yeah, the camera. He was well. He was a cameraman. He did a camera. <laughs> he did what? <laughs> a cameo. Oh, I thought you said he was. I was like, what the hell he doing, cameraman? Yeah, that, that's actually more on the two don't go together. Exactly. What What did you do on the Will Smith show? Um, I knocked him out. Oh, uh, you, you had to fight him. It wasn't a fight. You just knocked he, him out. He was trying to beat me out of some money or something. Him and I called, mm. <laughs> and I had to, you know, tighten them boys up. So that's what happened. Called wouldn't fight me, so Will was. The closest one to my side, so I put the put the heat on him. I met Carton before. I never met really? Will. Yeah, I, I met Carton years ago. I can't remember. We was doing some type of show or something together years ago, and I met him. He was super yeah. cool. He was real. I about to say he's a cool dude. Yeah, he's too. a cool dude. Yeah. 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 Carlton, I met one time in Hollywood. Will Smith, actually, I met a couple of times because he was playing paintball at one of my paintball parks, and my dad helped him build like a small paintball field in his backyard so he could play with his friends. Oh, for real? And it was yeah. a fun time. He's one of the most respectful, nicest guys. Will Smith? Yeah, he took my dad courtside to a Laker game. Like one of the most respectful, how, how long, nicest guys. How long ago was this? Uh, I was like 13, 14. I was playing paintball with him like every week at the uh -huh. time. Didn't really know who he was. I was too young. One of the nicest, most humble, respectful guys. I mean, I don't know what the media says about him, but it's not true. I, That's I, what they say. Yeah, he yeah. is the nicest guy. In terms of you being the champ and, and kind of having a lot of a, these these mega fights. What's your opinion on Showtime boxing? After thirty seven years, they went out of business, and they were responsible for some of the biggest fights in the history. Well, I'm sorry that they, I'm sorry that they gone and what have you, but right up until this second, I never knew they stopped uh, showing fights. Yeah, they're they're going out of business. I think officially this December, at the end of December, after thirty seven years, I think they're officially done. With done, Showtime boxing, done with boxing or done with the whole channel? Showtime Sports, which includes Showtime boxing. Yeah. I'm sorry about the leave, but yeah, it's amazing. Did you have any relationship with them or any good times or bad times with Showtime? I watched a lot of fights on Showtime. Yeah. So, yeah, other than that, no. Who yeah. was your promoter? Was you Were you with Don King, too? Absolutely not. I was with Rock <laughs> Newman. <laughs> I, but I should have, I could have. I could have been, I could have went with Don. Yeah. What would you, what would you have done to Don King if he would have stole millions of dollars from you? You would have beat him up, you would have got him in that boxing ring? No, I would have prayed for him. That's what's up. What you say, Pastor? <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up, huh? That's, that's, a, that's a good response, bro. Is that, good is, response. That the best, is that the best thing to do to somebody that's, uh, that that beats you out of money, like a promoter or, or a manager? Because I've been beat out of, of millions of dollars as well from like managers and stuff. All right, all right. What, is that, what's, what, would, what would you as a pastor, what would your, your uh, advice be to someone who who, who who screws you out of money or robs you? You have to learn from it. You have to learn from it. Because if you don't, <clears throat> if you don't learn from it and move on, um, it'll encage you, encage your mind. They'll go ask for forgiveness and move on and leave you holding the bag, being bitter, and it'll eat you up inside. And some folk don't even know where cancer may necessarily come from, but there are a lot of things that harms your body um, because you allow it to eat, yourself, eat you up on the inside. So forgiveness would be your best opportunity, not just for their sake, mm -hmm. but primarily for your sake. But what if, like, you? let's just say, we're just saying this, you buy a house for millions of dollars, cash money, because you didn't want to pay all the interest and stuff, and then somebody tricked you into putting it on a business name, then take your name off and put that name on the business, mm -hmm. then sell your house for almost 
half of what you paid for it after you done already fixed it all up and got mm -hmm. like fake grass all around and you did your garage up and you painted your pictures and stuff for them and you just forgive them they stole your favorite house you, you're gonna have to try to obviously you're gonna try to sue them but in the midst of that you still want to forgive them yeah. just forgive them and when you mean forgive them like if you see them forgive you, them doesn't mean that I'm not gonna sue you <laughs> Oh, okay. forgive me, forgive me, forgiving you does not mean I'm not going to try to get back what's mine. But what if you see him and stuff like that? You like so you see him somewhere and hi, you, 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 you're, you're going to learn how strong you really are by being able to be in the same room and not flinch. That's what's up. You speaking from experience? I, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I had my favorite house robbed from me because I was. Thought I was being smart. You know what happened? The first house I ever bought, I bought it and it's under my name and stuff like that. And then next, I get fan mail there. And, and after I win a fight, my house get egged. And then I get people knocking on the door asking if I live there and stuff. So the second house I bought, I'm like, I don't want my name on it. So I, I, I put it on the business name. And my manager at the time helped me set up that business and stuff like that. And, and the guy he had helped me because I don't know, I just know how to fight. I don't know business. Right. They took my name <laughs> off the off the business and and later on and just had put his name on there or whatever. And then the house I bought, I bought, I paid cash for. I put it on in that business. And then next thing you know, one day I was out of town, and my cousin was like, "Hey man, some people come over here and tell us you got to get out of the house." My cousin watched my house I was out of town and said they sold your house, wow. and I paid a lot of money for this house, cash money, <clears> and sold it for. Almost a little bit more than half than what I what I paid for in the house. At that time, it was probably worth way more than what I paid for. It's probably worth like three million at this time. Mm -hmm. And he sold it for so cheap. I'm like, oh man, that hurt. And it got me. So I, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it go. I'm, I'm gonna let it go. But you know, I I never I never had like thoughts of killing nobody or nothing like right, that. Right, right. I, I never had <laughs> I never had those I except never. in the ring. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, nah, even if, even uh, even even I'm fighting, I don't want to kill. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. I just want to knock him out. That makes two, man. You all right? Thank you, man. Same Thank you for noticing, big brother. You got the you got the same attitude going into fights. You ain't trying to kill him. You just yeah, want to win. I don't want to win. I said I don't want no trouble. I mm -hmm. love that. I, I, I do feel like a lot of people recognize how great you were. And the 90s and the 80s produced some of the greatest heavyweights the world's ever seen. Why don't we have any superstars like this anymore? They don't make them like me no more. Why is that, champ? Don't start me lying. Um, I guess it's the mother and the father. You understand? Yeah. That's what trying to figure it out. It's the, it's the family and the situations you grew up in making you want it That's the right. hardest. No, I get it. Yeah, they, don't, they don't have to go through the trials and tribulations yeah. that I went through. And I guess the mother and the fathers are different. I think the world is easier now than where it was. And even from your time, it got easier from, from my time. Look how easy the, the world is right now. Or America, you know, uh, you can argue that's where a lot of the, the best boxers came from, from, from this country. You know, you can mm -hmm. say Mexico produced a lot of um, good boxers right now. And Mexico right. is not as easy living as it is now and then is there other countries right now that boxing is going is coming up like tough like countries that have hardships and tough i think that's what makes a lot of fighters tough in like hardships because you know you you born with a civil well how many how many rich people grow up boxing but you know what i'm gonna tell you something when i was a little boy i thought i was rich i didn't have to work my mama worked but i i thought i was okay man mm. I had all the pro kids, I had the Puma, I had everything everybody had. So wow. my mama took care of me. You didn't really see it in the, you didn't really see it even though you were in the ghetto. Right. Yeah. I mean it's amazing. I mean, you got you got guys like Tyson Fury who are kind of like taking boxing by storm right now and doing these super fights. I mean, we saw the Nganu fight. We talked about it a little bit. Do you think it was disrespectful of them to announce his fight with Usyk before he fought Francis and Ganyu? You think they should have waited till after he fought? Uh, do you think it was disrespectful to Francis and Ganyu? No, see, boxing fans, I guess people were thinking if they told about that fight, when when they, when they were to fight, they would get more people to interview it. I mean, oh, look at got it. it, got it. So you think they're, they they just thought they were doing more for promotion? They weren't trying to be disrespectful? Absolutely. Awesome, yeah, because even Tyson Fury came out and said, yeah, I don't think that that was right because, mm -hmm. you know, they don't want to demean and demean the fight a little bit. What about who do you think wins, uh, Fury or Usyk? You follow these guys at all? Well, Fury gonna Fury gonna win. 
Really? Why, why you think that? I disagree with you on anything about boxing. You <laughs> know more about boxing than me, but I think you sick is going to beat Fury's ass. No, no. Are we, are we talking about boxing or something now? Boxing. All right, well, I thought he said... Uh, we talking about boxing. Tyson Fury. Yeah, and, and Tyson Fury versus Usyk. He going to beat him. Tyson Fury's going to beat Usyk? Me, yes, let me tell you something. Right now, he's the hottest thing out there. They ain't taking no chances. So they see something music that he can expose, he's going to win the fight. After this knockdown, fighting that MMA fighter, getting knocked down by him, he's not taking no chances. chances. He's going to make sure he's going to come out and look good. I'm not saying that means that he's going to win, but I'm saying he's going to be at his best than we've ever seen him. My, my opinion, I think that um, Usyk sees that. And that's gonna that's gonna motivate him to train even harder, and it's gonna put doubt in, in Tyson's own mind. And like, look, I just got my ass because he know he lost that fight. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say as mm -hmm. boxers, but he's gonna say, I just got my ass kicked by an MMA guy. Did you see when Tyson Fury elbowed him, and 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 Francis didn't even flinch; he just kept fighting because he was used to it. Exactly. Now I'm gonna tell you guys something. Next time Tyson Fury fights his neck, his neck is gonna be strong. I think. He took this guy, he took him live so he didn't train the way he was supposed to. This fight here, we're going we're gonna to see all that. Okay. I yeah. like that. Yeah. I, I, I can, I can yeah. buy that. Yeah. What, what's your thoughts on bare knuckle? Have you been watching this bare knuckle boxing at all? <sighs> bare knuckle fighting, you like it at all? I got to have gloves on. Well, we, we've been to, we've yeah. been to a few. Yeah. We've been to a few. Uh -huh. But you would never do it, right? No. It's not for you. You'd rather wear gloves? Because of my hands. They, they hurt already just, just thinking about it, so. I think they just hurt because they ashy. <laughs> <laughs> man, you terrible. <laughs> you like, you cracking over there. You look, not you that look, bad, man. You got huge hands, though. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, are your hands um, bigger than Tyson's or are Tyson's bigger than yours? I'm not sure. We never did that. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Oh, you Why got the same he, size hands? No, we don't. Yeah, my hands bigger right, than yours. You got the same right. size hands. My hand bigger than yours. My look at that. Look at that. My hand. Same size, yeah. My hand big. My hand might be bigger. I think my hand bigger. Yeah. Look at my. Look at my middle. Now, do the other one at the same time. Do no, no, no. Don't listen to him. Why? Why? Well, no. Why? Why not? He kind of sus. Sus. Nah, no, I just want to. He's gonna do some sus stuff. No, I just want to watch you guys play patty cake. What? <laughs> yeah. My hands are bigger. Watch that. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, that hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That hey, hand's that, bigger than that, that hand. That hand bigger than that yeah, hand. Yeah, that's what that's I wanted to say. That's the knockout hand. That's the right oh, hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. That hand bigger than, than so that hand. Both hands, that was your secret power. You had one hand bigger than the other? No, y'all got, got eye problems. Y'all got eye problems. Oh. No, no, your hand bigger than that hand. This yeah. is the African suit ball. <laughs> 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 Look like a big uh, rusty sludge hammer. Is that but, it's, but it's the suit ball. Ask Holyfield. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, champ, do you do you do you have your hands clenched the entire time or only right before you hit? Oh, the whole time. The whole oh. time. If you're in front of me, they, they, I'm ready. Yeah, do you when you punch? Do you ball up a tight fist or you a relaxed fist when you? No, I, mean, I make it. I make it tight. Oh, you make it tight. Look at that yes, overhand. Sir. That's still coming strong. You it's slow. It's, it's slow. Though. Absolutely. I, that that I'd be like this. Oh, it's in slow motion. She'd be like Matrix. I'd be I'm like not Matrix. gonna throw that slow. I'm gonna show you No, no, no. I don't want to see it. Yo, I, no, I, I yo, don't want to see it till the day we no, fight. No, huh? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, I don't want to see. I don't want to see it till the day we fight. I like. To, you know what I like to do? I don't like to study my opponents. I like to learn them on the fly. Yeah. That's, that's okay. Now watch this. Since you're on the fly, I'm gonna go right in your mouth. <laughs> Pause. Right no, man, no man ever going right in my mouth. I'm going to I'm the first Paul. one right in your Paul. mouth. He said, Paul, what Paul? What that supposed to be? <laughs> you, what that mean? You can't tell no man you can go right in their mouth. You just can't tell no man that. That's my specialty. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's my specialty, man. Holyfield said I wasn't going to go in his mouth. So you went in Holyfield's mouth? Oh, no, I would. Why is the fight? How many times you went in Holyfield's mouth? Only one. Oh, one too many. Only one. one, one time too many. Many. And he went to sleep. Has a man ever went in your mouth? Absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. So you a giver, not a taker. Absolutely yes, not. Yes, sir. I love that. So you give blessings. Oh, to everybody. That's right. Yes, sir. 
Uh, if you, all you gotta do is look at the pie, you, you can see. You put you put it in his mouth? Oh, without question. No, he Sir, would. Oh, yes, you see, absolutely would. not. You would take okay. it. Let How me find out. Ones? You just did. Yeah, you what? just did. How many teeth you do might. you have? I got all my teeth, except for my wisdoms. How many you want to keep? <laughs> how, how many you got to remove to go in his uh, mouth? About 15. 15 to get yeah, in your about, mouth. Why you got that gold tooth? That's a replacement. That's not a man. That's a cap. Uh, you full of cap. Mm, <laughs> you all up in that. Man, that's a cap. <laughs> and my tooth is underneath it. Well, that's, that's a New York thing to put the little gold tooth. Style. Wow. You look like OBJ. You and OBJ got the same style. I don't like that. I don't what? like OBJ. You're one of the greatest football players in the game. NFL. Who's the OBJ? Odell Beckham Jr. He York on the Giants. Giants. He on the New York Giants. He oh, was on the New York that, Giants. That's, that's, that's the one of the girls famous the catch ever. With the blonde hair? Yeah, well, now he got he got fresher. He's the freshest in the game. You need to dye your hair blonde then. Ain't so nobody fresher blonde. than OBJ. Really? You and OBJ should dye it. Isn't my hair black? It's black right now, but that's a little That's what it gray. should be. With a little hint like of gray. That. A little hint of white. I see the little Okay, white. all right. You got your real hair, though, because it looks like you... You know it's my real hair. It's, it looks like you glued it on a little bit. <laughs> be honest. You just wanted to be glued on, but it's my real hair. <laughs> okay. You got. You still got good style. You still got nice hair. You still he put together... He just mad because I look like a pimp. <laughs> a, a, a what? A pimp. A New York pimp? Yeah, he mad. Look at him. You mad he look like a pimp? I, I, I'm mad I don't got my hair no more. I am mad about that. Yeah. So what happened to you? What happened? <laughs> I Let's started, talk about it. I started balding like four years ago, five years ago, four or five years ago. Started and the quarter balding. with you is up all the yeah, way now? I just shaved it all off. Shaved it all off. Yo, Champ, before we let you go, I, I, I couldn't be more honored to have you here. Rampage has, you know, been doing this show. For I like the, Rampage. I'm, I'm glad you guys invited he, me to come, man. He's yeah, the I'm nicest guy in the world, Champ. So <laughs> please don't hurt him if you fight no, him. No, I ain't gonna hurt him. Okay. If I can, if I can plug this before yeah. you go, um, his book, his book, yeah. it, you can get it anywhere, especially obviously on Amazon, but yeah. wherever you can buy books online, you can get it. And we'll, we'll add the link in the description. So all of you guys watching this, just go to our description. Make sure you support one of the best to ever do it. But before we go, I do want to, I want to, I want to read some names. And when I say the name, I just want you to tell me what comes to your mind. Okay. Was well, you finished <clears throat> plugging though? And we're, we're, we're with uh, our podcast that we're coming out. want to be like Jackson podcast, obviously, which is three and out. Three and out. Three we'll and put out that in the bio, too. We'll put that in the bio, too. Yeah. All right. And then we'll, we'll clip that up. Right. Yeah. Rampage said, yo, whatever Reddit Bell wants to promote, we promoting. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. We, yeah, we, we Rampage, support you. He, he cool in the game. Yeah, you he cool. We appreciate you, sir. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate we, you. We support he just ain't as pretty, but he cool. <laughs> <laughs> you all right. You made me an even bigger fan today. I like I like nice people, and, and I like it when people are uglier than me that come on the show. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Makes you feel better? Make me feel better. Really? That's why he lets me be I'm not coming back on the show. Oh, man. Blue oh, that's right. We'll get Lennox Lewis. I'm kidding. You call him Lennox Lewis. You know what I call him, man. Kick it, hey, kick his ass. I, no, I, no, I, I, I was I, kidding. Listen, I was I kidding. Hey, I won't break it up until you get like I five punches kidding. in. I was kidding. Only was five kidding. in. Respectfully, I was kidding. Yeah, okay. come on. He, he's a champ. He's a goat. Let's, two times. Two, two four times. Four times. Four times. Well, they don't count it. Okay, right. two times. All right, what you got? What Dude, you got? Yeah. Big like a truck, but smooth like a caddy. That's what they call me, Big Daddy. <laughs> what you think they call him? Butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get mine back. <laughs> I had to get mine back, man. So now we even, so all we right, cool. Right, if we, you don't start that, we right, good. All right, we good. White flag. Uh, yeah, white flag. I wave the white flag. All right. all right. I like that. Two champs. So I'm going to say a name. You tell me what comes to your mind. Okay. Muhammad Ali. The greatest of all time. Mike Tyson. Good champ. Lennox Lewis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mayweather. Yeah. Oh, he's a good fighter. Holyfield. Oh, man. The one next to the greatest. Oscar De La Hoya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Silence has never been so funny to me forever in my well, life. My mama said, if you ain't got nothing, nothing good to say about a person, don't say nothing at all. That's why you're the champ. That's yeah. why the people love you. Javante Davis. I don't really know him. King Ryan. Don't know him either. He don't, the, he don't know the new school. Oh, yeah. You watch any of the new school boxing? Absolutely not. Javante, <laughs> Javante Davis. Tank. Tank. Uh, no, Tank. Tank. Yeah, okay. yeah, Tank. Yeah, yeah, Tank. What do you think about Tank? He, he think he's pretty good, but he's not the greatest. No. You think he has what it takes to be the greatest? Absolutely not. Wow. Well, he can be up there, but I'm not going to put him 
number one. Damn, I like that. Hopkins, Bernard Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins. Well, he's one of the greatest. Wow. Rampage Jackson. Yeah, well, Rampage Jackson. My man, my man. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah. Rampage got to be up in there. I love man. it. I right. love it. I want to say thank you, champ. For me, personally, I know Rampage wants to talk to you a little bit, but me personally, it means the world. You've been kicking it all morning here with my dad, my family, the, the brand, all the people here. You're so humble, so graceful. You as well. And for you guys to fly out here to be on this show to spread your message and, and exactly how he is. If you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say it. That's a champ leading by example and setting the tone for what future champion should be. You are a, a, just a pinnacle of what people should look at now and kind of study because your, your humbleness is definitely infectious and we appreciate you more than anything. Oh, thank you so much, man. Yeah. You all right. He thank all right. He, he, a he, good, all right. He, he a good dude, man. He a good I can dude. tell you a good dude. Yeah. Yeah. He looks like his daddy. Yeah, yeah he was in here. He, my dad used to be 350. He just lost some weight, so thank the Lord I look like him now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he lost a lot yeah. of weight, too. He, he He's getting ripped. He, getting ready for a fight in Alcapoco, champ. Who you going to fight? 160. I'm fighting this kid, Vargas. He's uh, 16 and 2. You think you can take him? Uh, What's he, your record? I'm 0-0. Zero zero. My first fight. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Uh, what, what, your, what would your advice be to him? Go run the other way. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I can tell you how to do it. Yeah. Wait, you you coached me this morning. I'm good. Okay. But you don't understand. I just like him. When he gets in the ring, <clears throat> it's totally different. Somebody's hitting you, trying to hurt you. You got them on your head. A lot of things you got to remember. But if you don't remember them, your ass is grass. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? That they want him to. They're looking Not, for someone like him. Right. With zero zero. He don't have the experience. He, you know. Oh, I got experience. Uh, he gonna be the journeyman, huh? You're not. I got the overhand. They don't know that. I got that. What you got? Okay, but are you gonna move your head and slip and catch your roll? You may not do that, so they got the upper hand. I bought the Mayweather tutorials, so I got all 30 chapters. I could watch all the videos and limited all his videos on YouTube, and I can study how to be fast like Mayweather. Oh, yeah, but it's different if you ain't got nobody there telling you when to do it and how to do it, then it becomes second nature to you. I got Rampage in my corner. I think I'll be okay. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't no hope for me. He shouldn't fight, right? I shouldn't fight yet. He should wait a couple of years. Not a couple of years, a couple of months. You get him in the gym, give him six months. After six months, y'all agree on the opponent, what he look like. I, you know. I want someone good, though. He's only been hitting pads for like uh, eight weeks. Yeah, I want someone good. He's only been training for eight weeks. I want someone good, champ. champ. I'm want... training for eight weeks and you want a professional fight? In Mexico. In Mexico, champ. Nah, though. No. Hey, you know he rich, right? You know he's going to pay the stop, whole. Stop, stop, he's nah, rich nah, as hell. He's going to pay. Nah, he's going to pay nah, everybody nah, to fall down. Champ, I don't over do to Mexico. I don't do that. No, Mexico I'm, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to hit someone with the overhand right first round. He out of there. Sleep. It don't, it don't work like that, partner. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. They're going to put his mind in yeah. front of you that they want to win. So yeah. the only thing you can give them pesos or you can one shot. He's going to lay down. Hey, in Mexico, you in his country? They ain't doing that. It's stacked. It's, listen, they already got the everything stacked against you, so you don't want that. You want to have your first couple of fights here in America. That before we go though, just to make this point clear, a lot of boxers have been telling us recently that that's what they do to build up the boxers. They give them Thank quick you. easy fights. Is it true? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's why a lot of boxers like thirty and old before you, you see them. Get, you you got to get the right one. Though. You know, you don't do that. You your ass is grass. <laughs> I'm going to keep watching your fights. I'm going to be inspired. I think that would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's still quick and witty. And he's, <laughs> and he's right old age of 56 years old. <laughs> right young age. This month. Right. No, no. I'm sorry. I, 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 I want to have a truce. I didn't. I, you called I didn't. him right? He got, I thought you had a truce. You called him <laughs> right no. young age. That's a good age, though. 56. 55 is my favorite number. So when you say you're 55, you... When a 55 is my favorite number. Really? Yeah, that's my, the year my dad my, was born. My, my. That's That's it. So why you don't respect me? I could be your daddy. No, you ain't old enough to be my daddy. You see your daddy 55? No, I said he was born in 55. Really? Yeah, mm. my dad was born. That's, so that's my favorite. My dad is my favorite person on the planet. He's my favorite person. That's about 15 years before I was born. Yeah, see, you ain't old enough to be. My, my dad had me. He was 21 years old. 
Yeah, I had mine. Well, what they got to do with me? That means you could, I, I could have still. I could've Not had 11 years old, you couldn't have had me. 11 years old, you couldn't have had me. <laughs> you don't know if I was stroking at 11 or 10, what you think? <laughs> I don't think you you too ugly at 11 to be stroking. <laughs> Ain't nobody, what am I going to let you touch him at 11 years old? You don't know that. You'd you, be surprised. Yeah. Before we go, can we define stroking? <laughs> I'd be stroking. Having sex. Oh, <laughs> you didn't know he's stroking No, he, he's still a virgin. You didn't know that. No, I got to wait for marriage. We got you know, a pastor here. No matter Padre Espiritu Santo. I'll bless you in Spanish. I'm bilingual. Coño, <laughs> man. Tú que te quieres, papi. Tú, si se puede. Ah, uh, you're in trouble now. <laughs> no, oh, easy, easy. I'm going to speak English a little bit, but I'm going to speak English. I'm going to speak English very well. Para the Italian people. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Me gusta grande en inglés. I never told you. I didn't know you speak Spanish. Man, you haven't known each other that long. Oh, yo, 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 Thank you guys for joining us, man. We wanted to give Riddick Bo his flowers uh, today while he's still here. I want uh, all the MMA fans to go and support him. What's your social media? Riddick Bo. Riddick, Riddick Bo. Big Daddy Bo. Riddick Big Daddy Bo. Make sure y'all go and support him, follow him, and I'm check out his book and his new podcast. I'm telling real talk, this has been one of my favorite guests that we've had <clears> on. I've never laughed this much on a podcast. Thank you for joining us, man. It's I'm going to tell you something, man. I haven't laughed this much in a little while. And I had someone to phone you guys. I didn't even I didn't even realize you was taping or whatever. We've been taping this whole time. I, 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 I didn't. You just thought we were sitting here hanging out? Yeah, yeah. Bro, know. that's why I've been looking at this camera. I've been shouting you out and everything. Yeah. But I didn't realize it. Yeah. I oh, love but that. you know, I should have realized because y'all got your headphones yeah. on. Yeah. You got yours on you too. Got yours I know. Too. Oh, okay. Uh, but that's, how, that's, where we, that's where we like the podcast. We just like to hang out. But you know why? I should have realized. You know why? Why? I'm talking to the bad boom. <laughs> I thought we had a truth. No, I got mine back. <laughs> <laughs> now we can have a truth. No, we no, 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 no. I know you like to have the last laugh. Yeah. No, that no, you're a true champion. Yeah, yeah, you that ain't, yeah, that you ain't win fair. Everything. You, you gotta, gotta win everything. That so, ain't fair. So we're gonna let it be, uh, you know, truths or what? Okay. My man, my man, you all right? You all right? You know, Crazy yeah. when he shook your hand. How big is his? His hands are big, like a big, like a big silverback gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> See, there you there go. You go yeah. What? Yeah. Well, I'll give you a compliment. No, 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 no. What? You messed up. I'm not a gorilla. Okay. I'm not big like a gorilla. Okay. I'm just me. Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. All right. All right. I'm gonna let that one slide. He's smooth okay. like a caddy. He, and that's why big they call like him. a truck, but smooth like a caddy. And big that's like why they call him Big Daddy. Hello. Come until, on. Somebody. Until he takes his pants off. <laughs> what they call him then? Small. Biggie Smalls. He's big. Small. He's small. Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls. Biggie Never that. Biggie Smalls. He's Moongy Moongy Dog. <laughs> we out of here. Oh, we out. Hey, uh, this is this is my favorite. This is my favorite. This has been my favorite podcast. Oh my God. 